معرفش الكلام ده يا عم مجدي 120 100 وشويه ده عربيه بتتكلم ايه اللي مهنه بتاع دول اللي 35 I've been gonna be a little bit like Yusuf and Papa Where's Yusuf? أيوه We'll join the sand huh? Okay Okay, I said we got the machine gun there. That's the Akhet, okay? okay? Now look, look, look. Akhenaten yeah. was told to come here. And uh, no matter what you've heard, he, this was an ancient site that was known. It was really, Amarna was the capital of ancient Kemet. But the reason why he came here is it had not been dedicated to any netter during dynastic times. That's what he said, he came into virgin soil. He just didn't want to come to any place that had been dedicated to any netter. But it was known because he came here as a child and was sent to the southern caves to, to, to med meditate with the masters. He knew this was an ancient site of ancient Kemet. Anyway, you could even draw it better than me. <laughs> so, he came here to see the sun come up at sunrise. And if you look right there, at that area there, that is what I drew in the ground. Just this mound going down like this. When he saw the sun came up, it, it is the sign Achit. The horizon. And he stood here and said, this is where I make my stand, Achet Aten. The horizon Aten came right up over there. And that's where the sun does come up at a certain time of the year. And he was led here to be that that time when the sun came up. And he saw it as I drew it, Achet. Achet Aten, the horizon of Aten. And that's where he got the idea. <laughs> It's cut out of the bedrock. So what you're looking at is the nuked site that was once the capital city of Akhenaten. The city itself called Aken Akhetaten. Akhetaten or Akhenaten? Akhetaten. And this was the center of Egypt during his rule. He built the city, supposedly from virgin territory or in virgin territory where nobody had been before. But what we've seen from these entryways and rooms inside the solid bedrock is quite uh, suggestive e evidence that someone had been here before and had done these rooms and hallways. So Akhenaten, being the clever man that he was and wanting to return the civilization to the time of Aten, which was the time of high consciousness and high capability, um, because he was more or less at war with the ruling people who were called the Amun priesthood who controlled everything. So he wanted to return back to that time. And so in keeping with that, he didn't choose a virgin site, he, cho he chose a super ancient site in which to build his city. But the Amun priesthood hated him because he returned the belief system of a single central deity. He didn't invent the idea, he brought the Aten time back, the time of wholeness. The Amun priesthood hated him because now they had no jobs and had no money and they decided to erase him from the history books. But luckily, we're here to witness his existence, his grandeur, and his enduring legacy. Tell the Amar. Tell means mound shape, and Amarna that is one of the Arab tribes. We call it the sons of Amran, Bani Amran. That's why they have the title Amarna. So Amarna is not ancient from Akhenaten time. So what was the name during Akhenaten time? No one asked me this question. What is the name of the city 
during Akhenaton time. Akhetaton or Akhetaton, the horizon of Aton. So you know the ancient name Akhetaton, the modern name Amarna. Okay? But as you can see, all disappeared. Nothing left, even the main temple. Small pieces are around. What happened? And in the same time, they tell you that they defaced only Akhenaton from the tombs. If they dismantled every stone in the area, why they kept the tombs? Why they defaced Akhenaton only? They must deface all of it. So the whole story of Akhenaton is still under research, I believe, will be for many years. As when, for example, the labyrinth, just to bring you to the wrong, wrong way. So our final stop at uh, Akhetaten, which means the dawn of Aten, which means the dawn of the sun, which was symbolic, uh, symbolic naming by Akhenaten, whose name in turn meant the shadow of Aten, because there's a cleft in that mountain there, and that's where the sun rises at certain times of the year. So, as a young man, he came to this site and he saw the sunrise and knew, also from the influence of the local wisdom keepers, that this is where he should build his capital city, move it from the area of Thebes and set up a new city, whose population, <clears throat> in the course of six years, rose from basically zero to a hundred thousand people. And then the Amarna priesthood, who were zealots and wanted their power back, sent a massive force here, destroyed Akhenaten and his family, most likely, including murdering Nefertiti and their daughters, killed Akhenaten, <clears throat> cut him to pieces, and spread the parts to the wind so that he could never come back to life, and mowed the ancient city down to nothing. All we have is that left of a once proud and powerful capital city of ancient Egypt. Smile. <laughs> <laughs>